You're such an asshole. Uh, once upon a time, this is my coof. the coffee makes me poop mug. You don't have. Are you cool? Do you have a mug like this? You don't have a mug because this, this is a cool mug. You don't have this mug. You envy my mug. Everyone envies my mug. It's my second favorite mug, though. I actually have a much more favorite mug. Although it was pretty cool, but it's one from the South Dakota uh, Wall, South Dakota, and out in the Badlands. We didn't come here to talk about my mugs, did we? No, we came here for asshole consulting, where you can get your life in order by consulting the world's only professional asshole, which is me, lovable me, ah, me public. D'Angelo writes, uh, hello, Cappy, my name is D'Angelo. I reached a bit of a dilemma in academia first. Off my major is astrophysics, and I currently go to community college. Okay, so you haven't fucked it up yet. You're just at community college. You're just getting your P's and Q's out of the way. Uh, out of high school, I was accepted into a couple of universities, but I said fuck you to them because they were offering a $54,000 loan package. It's like half a house in some places. <laughs> oh, my God. I may be born in a generation of stupid motherfuckers, but I'm not a stupid motherfucker. So I, decli I declined the offer from those bitches and went to community college I used to play football here but I had to stop because I failed calculus we also spelled calculus wrong too that might might be a reason and I wanted to prove to myself that I could pass the class so I retook the following semester and got a C in the class and then I took calculus two over the summer the class was taught by a PhD student majoring in math from UCR oh these are the worst was he foreign did he even bother learning the US language effectively and I managed to get a B in that class alright good all right, you're improving. That's good. You're improving. You're going the right way. And now this fall semester, I'm in Calculus 3, and I'll most likely pass with a high C or a low B. As you can see, the problem is not in Mathematica. Now, here comes the problem my physics class. Uh, here comes the problem. you got to learn punctuation, too, dude. That's that's going to be hard. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not usually... Uh, you know me. I'm pretty easy going with the grammar and all that. But if your grammar is worse than mine, you got to... So it would be... <clears throat> now here comes the prama, semicolon, comma, a dash, something to tell me that you're about to tell me your problem. My physics class, this professor is a lazy piece of shit. He just uses examples from the book and then assigns homework. Okay, this is the bad professor. All right, so I knew you had a bad teacher in this one. Then you go to do the homework and you're like, what the fuck is this? I currently have a 60.3 in the class and I asked him what I needed on the final to pass the class and he told me I would need a near perfect score. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm an optimistic son of a bitch, but I probably have a better chance at t telling a feminist the wage gap doesn't exist and her believing me than getting a near perfect score on the final exam. Since I have such a high unit count from playing football, I am on financial aid probation and I have to pass all my classes to continue receiving aid. Seeing that I won't pass physics, I won't be on financial aid anymore. Although I'm a Native American, I do receive funding from my tribe. I could use that to supplement my next semester without financial aid from the school. Uh, oh wait, although I'm not, I do receive, I could use that to supplement my next semester. Okay, yeah, I mean, if, if you're going to lose your financial aid, ideally you'd like to keep it, but it's not the end of the world. There are some of us stupid fuckers who were born to the wrong people. Where we didn't get fucking money from our tribe, and we had to actually pay. And then you get, you, so you get money from the tribe, so that's plan B. And then you can always work, dude. I mean, now you'd have to give up football. I don't know how integral that is to your, um, your career. Goddamn fucking tornado alarm. November. There's no tornadoes in November. They gotta tell us, hey, hey, it's five o'clock. Hey, your kids might be out having fun. What the fuck? Uh, anyway, so, um, so you can go to the tribe, then you can get a job and just work and still stay in. So, <clears throat> or just scale down your, the number of classes you're taking and then work part-time so you don't have to take loans. There's no rush to get through college, right? No rush. I currently have no debt and roughly 4,300 in stocks. All right, so you even have a backup. Not bad, all right? So you're not in as bad a say, uh, shape as you, you realize. My question is, should I say fuck school and drop out and try to do something else? or continue pursuing academia. I want you to tear me a new asshole because that's what you do best. I want this to be a video reset. I would love to tear you a new asshole, but here's the problem. You're honest, you try. I mean, you you had a, a what, Calc 1 you got a C, then you tried hard, you tried a B, uh, and then you're maybe in a C. And this is not because of a lack of you trying. 
and you're serious about your studies and you're worried. So I can't rip you a new one because you're doing what you need to do. One thing I would do, your, your weak grades are more, they're not weak, but they're, they're not the best in calculus. And it is a, a weeder class, that is true. And, and are you going to use it ever again? Hmm, not really. Um, I would test your IQ to see if astrophysics is something for you. Because let me, let's look this up here. Let's do a little bit of research. Uh, 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 IQ by major astrophysics. I mean, because this is like what? Fucking um, physics. Why does that not look like physics? There's an S there, Clary. Okay. I think physics has, but astrophysics, which is about the same. Physics and anatomy, yeah. The IQ is 133. Uh, and I can't imagine... Yeah, physics and astronomy, 133. All right, so that's some high-level mass shit that you're doing there. Uh, do you have the raw mental ability to do it? This doesn't mean you have to have an IQ of 133. I mean, your determination will also go a very long way. Um, but, it, 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 man, that's the highest right at the top. Um, you know, even my major economics... Well, it's finance, but I'm not going to go into the boring details. That's 128. Uh, so it, it is it is a challenging degree you're in. Now, the other thing... Oh, great. Are we going to run ads on this that I didn't ask for? <coughs> Let's, a more important question, though, is this. What do astrophysicists make? Astrophysicists. And I can almost tell you that you're going to have to get a doctorate because there's no real private sector demand for this, and you're going to have to constantly beg for government grant money. Um... So it's a different, it's a real world uh, PLS. So let's look at it, the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Physicists and astronomers. Okay, you ain't gonna be going collecting no more welfare check. Uh, I, I don't think you gotta worry about it. Hundred eleven thousand dollars a year median pay. So you'll be okay. You won't, be, but that's if you make it into there. Typical entry level, entry level education, dude, is a doctorate. All right, now you are in year one or two of community college. Uh, that means you got seven at least more years going down this route. So I think it's very important that you find out if you have the raw mental ability to do this. So go get a professional IQ test taken. If you want, um, there's a website called queendom.com. It'll give you a quick and dirty, kind of like ballpark estimate of your IQ. Take that online. <clears throat> and see if this is something that you have the ability to. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to destroy your dreams. Okay, um, but but I do. But, but but dreams without feasibility is called nightmares. And every millennial dipshit is is suffering these nightmares. So let's see if you can do it. And then if you can't, like if all of a sudden you say you got an IQ of one hundred five. All right, maybe astrophysicist is not for you. But that don't mean mechanical engineer or electrical engineer or whatever composites engineer isn't or IT. Um, but let us assess that. And let me let me go back to your question. Make sure I answered it here. Should I say fuck school and drop out and try to do something? But but let okay. That's the other thing. I knew there was something. I had a, a scratch. I had to itch. For now, um, if you think you could study your fucking ass off, and here's the problem that I'm, I think you're facing. I'm afraid that this professor is that bad and no matter how hard you study i mean if they if he teaches you x but then you're tested on y on the final i mean you're fucked and you and you you get a you get a bad grade so what i would do right now find the smartest people in that class okay you kind of know you should be able to know who the smartest people are in, in that class say hey i got a question you know, do you mind me asking you what kind of grade are you getting? Or is it me or is this guy just a shitty professor? Because, like, I'm busting my ass off here and I need it. In. And then if they if they say, yeah, dude, I have no fucking clue what this guy is asking for. I got to. And this this may happen. I'm not getting your hopes up. This may happen. He's like, yeah, I, I'm only got a 62 in this thing. And that's the smartest guy. Well, that happens where the professor is that bad and teaches so poorly. I've had a couple classes like that. People will tell you down in the comments below where you get that bad of a professor that, like, the median score is a 50. Um, and, and it is just, like, and they're shit. Those motherfuckers ought to be dragged out in the street and shot in their kneecaps and their elbows and kept alive so they can hobble around like the fuckers that they are. But <clears throat> that, that's another thing, like your IQ. you got to assess and find out, okay, is it me? Am I really not doing that well? Or is it the professor? Because that's a, that's a more likely incident than you realize. So 
First thing you're going to do tomorrow, whenever you got this next class, go talk to the, uh, the smart guys or gals in this class. Find out, hey, is it me? And if you find out it is you, okay, then you can worry about plan B. Go get, you know, certainly test your IQ anyway. And then, then you got to ask that question, all right, can I really stay in physics? Can I really become an astrophysicist? But if it's not you, and it is, you say, no, this is a really tough class. Even they got like, I'm averaging a 70 or an 80. And they say, no, this is a really tough class. Dude, you owe it to yourself to give it your best shot and pass this class. Study your fucking ass off. Figure it out. Hire one of these guys to be your tutor. Have them help you out. He's all like, I'll buy you pizza and beer if they're 21. I need some help passing this. I'll make it worth your time if you guys would please help me out. I'm trying to figure this out. And between that... Hopefully the ideal outcome is you pass this class, you find out whether or not this is really your problem or whether it's the professor's problem, and then the IQ test, you find out whether this is the field you have the capacity, the, the intelligence to be in, or whether you got to start thinking of like a, a lower level. It's the top. Don't feel bad if you don't become a fucking ass. I mean, this is rocket science, okay? Don't be... I probably couldn't do this. I don't... Oh, geez, I only got an IQ of 129. I'm, a, I'm only an average genius. I mean, so... <laughs> But don't feel bad if you're not fucking Werner Von Braun, all right? So anyway, anyway, hope that helps out. Spread the good word of asshole consulting. And, uh, and uh, yeah, just, just try your best so you absolutely have no regrets and you know whether or not you could or could not have done it. Best of luck to all of you. Toodles.